World War Z by Max Brooks. Now, I read this book, um, uh, it was earlier this year, actually. I think I read it in January. Um, and this book, it's not, uh, I've seen the movie. The movie and the book are entirely different things. Uh, the whole movie with Brad Pitt is like, I mean, it's all right, uh, but it's not the book. The book is basically a giant compilation of a bunch of short stories in this one giant zombie war. But they're written, these stories are written as if they are eyewitness accounts to things. And they kind of weave together this really wild and weird story. It was This book is written as if it's a record of actual eyewitness testimonies of a great zombie war that happened. And it's really cool in that way. The book is very, it's hyper-realistic in that sense. I mean, obviously there's zombies and stuff, so that's not very realistic. But the way it's written, the way it's presented, it's hyper-realistic. And it's really, 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 really cool. That aspect, that creativity is the best thing about this book. It's, I mean, some of the stories, like there's this story about this, uh, oh, what are they called? The Japanese type there, there is a certain portion of the Japanese population that locks themselves away in their closets and they just play video games all day. Yeah, there's a story about a guy who he, he loses his internet because the zombie apocalypse is going on and he has to finally get out into the real world and fight his way out. And it's, it's such a cool story. I mean, there's so many cool, short zombie stories in this book that uh, are really thrilling and really awesome. Um, the only thing, though, is... You're never worried about the characters telling the stories because you know they survive because they're telling the stories. Um, but, yeah, suffice to say, the creativity in this book is, uh, yeah, it, it's pretty amazing and really, really inventive, really, really new. I've never read any, any book quite like it. Um, but, uh, yeah, I would recommend World War Z, the book, uh, over the movie for sure. It's definitely not like a, it's not a life changing book. Like it's not a, you know, it's not a 1984 Brave New World type book. Like honestly, I didn't learn anything from this novel. Like it didn't teach me any like real moral lessons. There were just cool stories in it. It's a cool book. Um, it's not a great book though. Uh, it, it does not. It's not going to impact you morally or socially. It's not going to change your life. And so I will not, I'm not going to give it like an A or anything like that. I give it like a, uh, creativity speaking, like an A plus. Overall, I would give it like a, a B or a B plus as far as books are concerned. It, it's, it's, it's good, but not great. It's cool. I already said that. But uh, yeah, it, it really is like, there are parts of it that are really, really th thrilling and like, man, it would be epic if this was in a, was in a movie. Like, man, I just wish that they had take they had taken each of these stories and made it them to made them into like episodes and did this giant like World War Z series where each episode is based off of one of the short stories in this book, and then weave together all of those stories as they are woven together in the book, and you have this giant zombie war show. That's what they should have done regarding the adaptation. But, of course, uh, that's not what happened because all is not well with the world. Um, <laughs> but, no, uh, I would recommend World War Z, but uh, don't expect it to, uh, you know, uh, reinvent your. Don't expect it to cause a reinvention of yourself.